Okay, so this video is about how to solve linear equations by clearing the fractions and the decimals. So in case you get fractions or decimals in a linear equation, there's a simple way to go about um, making it uh, easier to solve. Um, so let's say you have an equation like, uh, um, yeah, let's go with, with one-seventh. Oh, let me start again. So it's one seventh. Aye, aye, aye. I'm still learning how to use this tablet, and I write like a little two-year-old um, with the way this is going. So let's um, let's do a different one. This is two thirds x minus one six equal to x. Now this is an easy. I mean, you can simply add one six to both sides if you want. But a different strategy would be to look at the denominators and say, okay, the common denominator would be 6. And that's the case if the denominator, the common denominator would be 6. Then I'm going to take the whole equation and multiply by 6. And then when I do that, as I distribute the 6 to all the terms in the equation, you see something you see the fractions um, be cleared. So 6 over 1 times 2 thirds x minus 1 6 times 6 over 1 and then you also have 6 over 1 times x. Okay, So you can see that the 3 can divide into the 6 because 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and then you see that the 6 divided by 6 is 1 and so 1 times 1 is 1, and then 6 times x is 6x. So you can see already, it's already been it down to a simple process. So now I can move the 4x to the other side by um, just minusing 4x, because this is plus, so minus 4x. So I get minus 1 equal to 2x. Now I can just go ahead and divide by 2. And so now I get negative 1 half equal to x. And this is a nice way of solving a linear equation that happens to have a fraction. And now let's do the same thing with decimals. So I'm going to clear this and do that with decimals. So let's say you have uh, 0.01x and minus 0.42 equal to the negative 0.2x. So again, we don't really want to deal with the decimals. We like to get rid of them. And so it would be easier to actually um, get a common denominator, actually. So if we change all these into regular fractions, that would make it 1 over 100x minus 42 over 100, and then minus 2 over 10x. So now these are all in fraction form. And then we can see that the common denominator would be 100. So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 100, okay? which is over 1. So if I multiply 100 times 1 and divide it by 100, I get 1. That's why I just get x. If I take 100 times the negative, 40, negative 42 one hundredths, you can see that the hundredths cancel, and so I get minus 42. And then if I do this one, where I'm doing the 100 times the negative 2 tenths, well, the 10 goes into the 100 10 times, and 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. So I get negative 20x. All right, so then I can go ahead and minus my x to both sides. I get negative 42 equal to negative 21x. Now I divide by negative 21. And so x is going to be, well, two negatives make it a positive. 21 goes into 42 twice. And so my answer is 2. And so again, this is another way of clearing the decimals so that you can get to an easier linear equation to solve.